Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to share with you a recipe for grain-free apple crisp. I have made this recipe for years and it's so good. But before we start, I just want to apologize for my voice. I have had a cold for a while but I still wanted to record a video. Alright, so let's start with the topping. As I already mentioned, it's a grain-free topping, so I'm going to be using nuts instead of grains. I feel like one of the most important things with an apple crisp topping is a textural contrast. So here I have crunchy pecans, which I'm just gonna roughly chop up. The next ingredient will be almond flour, which on the contrary is very fine. And finally, I'll be using shredded coconut, which is kind of squishy and chewy. I'm using coconut sugar as the main sweetener, but feel free to use any sweetener you like. A little bit of coconut oil, a pinch of sea salt and mix everything together. If you want to use a food processor as opposed to a bowl and a wooden spoon, be careful not to overprocess the topping. Ideally, your crisp would have plenty of textural contrast. You don't want to end up with a sticky dough that will be too smooth to crackle in the oven. If the mixture is too dry and isn't coming together the way you would like it to, add a little bit of liquid sweetener. Once your topping is ready, move on to the filling. Since this is an apple crisp, I'm of course gonna be using apples. Here I have two varieties of apples, Golden Delicious and Granny Smith. The reason I have two varieties is that there are sweet apples and tart apples. Ideally, you would choose a mix of the two, and it doesn't necessarily have to be Golden Delicious and Granny Smith. I have a list of apples that are sweet and tart in the recipe post. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below this video. I like to peel the apples because that's what my husband prefers, but you can leave the peel on if you'd like. Once peeled, core the apples and chop them into bite-sized pieces. One more thing I want to mention about apples is that there's one more categorization of apples, and that is firm apples and soft apples. You want to use firm apples so they don't turn into an applesauce when you're baking them in the oven. They should retain a little bit of a bite. Again, I have a list of all the apples I recommend for this crisp on my blog, so you can refer to that. Add the apples into a baking dish and then get the spices ready. I'm using cinnamon, ginger and nutmeg. Add the spices to the apples and before you mix them in, add some type of starch to help thicken the juices the apples release during baking. Now, I have said many times that I don't like to use starches like cornstarch, potato starch, tapioca starch because they have no nutritional value. However, there is one starch that is an exception and that is kuzu. Kuzu is a starch that acts just like any other starch. The difference is that kuzu is considered a superfood and has been praised for its medicinal properties in China and Japan for thousands of years. It is widely regarded as the healthiest cooking starch or a gelling agent in the culinary and confectionery world as well as the medicinal world. Dissolve the kuzu in a little bit of water or apple juice and add it to the apples. Mix everything together and then add the topping. For a light crackly texture in your topping, don't press it deep into the apples, just spoon it out and spread it to the edges of the baking dish in a roughly even layer.
Bake the apple crisp at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 50 to 60 minutes or until the filling is bubbly and the top is golden brown. And that's it! Grain-free apple crisp with tender, warm spiced apples in caramel-like sauce under perfectly crisp nut topping. This video was actually supposed to be a pumpkin pie video, but I ran out of one ingredient that I use for the pumpkin pie and I ordered from iHerb and it didn't arrive in time. So I thought that I would film a different video. So it's an apple crisp video. Now this is such an awesome season for apple crisp because there are apples everywhere. And of course you can use any fruit you like for the crisp. It's more of the topping that makes this crisp different. How do you like it? It is truly the topping that makes this crisp dish different. The almond flour and the pecans are competing for dominance on my pop up at least. So the apple and the spices, there's some ginger in there, which is oh so good. You requested that. Yes, and I think it sits in there quite nicely. Um, from that perspective, from the apple filling perspective, think of like an apple pie, but in this case it's like yeah, the temperature is perfect. It's hot. That's the way I like it. And from the topping or the crisp perspective, the crumble on top. Yes. Yes, the coconut is giving you the crispy, squishy texture that you so sorely desire from coconut. The shredded coconut. Shredded coconut? Yes, but you can't really taste the coconut. It's more the nope. texture, right? No. Nope. Well, it makes everything mellow and warm. Um, the almond flour and the pecans are fighting for dominance, like I said earlier. So the pecans come through with their crunch mm -hmm. and then the almond flour kind of takes over at the end and by that time you've already got another spoonful or forkful in your mouth. So there's all this competing flavor going on. Yes, if you like warm desserts, I'm pretty sure you're going to love this. Mm -hmm. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.